Welcome to 5 Minute Maths, although our videos are usually more like 8 minutes. Alright, so today we're having a look at equations. So, um, with equations, um, vergelijkings, we don't know what the variable is. So we always, a variable is something that we don't know the value of, and it can take any value. Um, so, now we're looking at, if we've got an equation then we can work out what the value is. I'm going to show you with a very easy example. 2x equals 4. Um, if this side is equal to this side, think about it like scales. Like if you've got a scale, how does one draw a scale? <laughs> then it must be balanced. Whereas if this one's heavier than that one, then it would look like this. And then it's not equal. But a balanced scale is equal. So we want to know how, what value of x would make this true. So if we've got, if we say x is 4, then that is going to be 8. So this is not true. So for what value of x is this statement going to be true? And that is what times 2 is 4? 2. Okay, that one you can easily do in your head, but let me show you how to work it out. On this side, 2x is 2 times x. So if we've got a times on this side, we divide it on that side. So here we said divided by 2, divided by 2, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, so that's the, the method behind it, although for easy ones you can do it in your head. But this is the method once we get to um, more complicated examples. So the same as, let's say we've got one that says x plus 5 equals 9. Okay, so that's also a nice easy one you can do in your head. But basically, so what plus 5 is 9? 4. So x equals 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay, but how did we do it mathematically? What's the rule? We took this 5, it's plus on the one side. So we want to get it away. So we move it over to the other side of the equation and it becomes minus. So a plus becomes a minus. So then we've got x equals 9 minus 5 is 4. All right, let's do some more examples. So what we need is we always need to get the x by itself so that we can, our answer needs to be x equals. That is our answer going. All right. So if the, if the question in your exam says solve for x, that is what your answer is going to look like. All right. So let's say we've got 3x plus 5 equals... 2x minus 10. Okay, now what are we going to do? We want x equals, which means on this side of the equals there are x's and on this side not. So we're going to take everything that has an x over to the other side. And then everything that's not an x must go to that side. So then we've got, we, this is what we have, this is what we moved. If we move it, this one's positive here, so if we move it, it becomes negative. Okay, always first write what we have, and then write what we moved. It was positive here, so it becomes negative here. So now we've got 3 minus 2 is 1, and here we've got um, negative 10 minus 5 is negative 15. Okay, so x equals negative 15, and that's our answer. Right. So let's have a look at, um, let's say we add brackets to that. We've got x plus 5. All right. So, what do we need to do now? We want to get the x by itself, but here the x is in brackets. So, we must first deal with this brackets before we can get all the x's by itself. Because this is one term. 
We can't move it as it is because then we're still going to be left over with brackets. So first we do distributive law times it in the brackets. And we've got x plus 2x plus 2 equals 4. Okay, now we can get all the x's by its on the one hand and all the numbers on the other side. Okay, so then we've got x plus 2 is 3x. Write what you have, write what we moved, and change the sign. So now we've got 3x equals 2. And now to get this one away, because we need the x alone, we don't want 3x, we want x by itself. So this is times. This is 3 times x. So we're going to divide. That one cancels out, so we've got x equals 2 over 3. Okay, let's do one with fractions. So let's say we have... Um, Say x minus 3 over 3 equals 4. Okay, so what do we need to do here? We want to get the x by itself, but we can't because we've got a fraction. So we can't move this 3 because it's part of this fraction. So what we're going to do, this line means divide. So to get this 3... To be gone, we need to times by 3. So we always do the opposite. If we times it, that cancels out. And then we also cancel on the other side. Okay, so what have we got left? Here we've got left x minus 3. Here we've got left 12. Now we want all the x's by itself and all the numbers on the other side. So we're moving that over. We've got x equals, and 12 is what we've got. We move this, it becomes positive, and x equals 15. All right, so the same thing with, with this question. If you've got brackets, they can put brackets in everywhere. They can put brackets in there and brackets in there. It doesn't matter. Whenever you've got brackets, you have to times it out. So basically the bottom line, let's bottom line it for you with all the rules. So first of all, um, you want to get x equals and everything else on the other side. How are we going to do that? We're going to take things over the equal sign. If a plus goes over the equal sign, it becomes a minus. Okay, if we've got times on this side and we take it over, then we're going to divide. Okay, I'm writing it like this because it's a fraction. So let's say here we've got three times, then here we've got divided by three. And if we've got divide on this side, then we're going to times on this side. Okay. And that's your basic rules. If you've got brackets, you must first times it out. You must first do distributive law to get rid of the brackets. Okay, that are, those are the simple equations. In the next video, we'll deal with more complicated equations.